Okay, YouTube, in my case, uh, this was a half inch, uh, and I used a ratchet. I used a ratchet to get it out. After that, you get these shafts out. They are 5 16. There are two of them. They do have a seal here. And after you take this out, you will tap right here. You will tap right here to separate this housing from this housing. And that's what you need to do. So hold it right here and hit here, hit here, hit here, hit here until it comes apart. Once it comes apart, it will be like this. And you will have a motor here. And then if you take, you have a gasket right here. Um, and these are the brushes that are in good shape. In my case, the wire connecting to here in the back was damaged, which I already replaced. I'm starting the video late. I took this off. I took this off and this off. And in the back of it, I did my repair. I'm in process of putting it back together. One of the things I did, I drew some lines right here and right here. So when I put it back, I will not put it back upside down because I have the lines. And I will line it up the way it was okay now I do use Vaseline to put it on the gasket to kind of like uh, soften the gasket and if there's any bumps in it and uh, scratches it will cover those scratches so it will be sealed use the lines to line up everything and the only other trick that you have is you get this motor out it's held in by a bunch of powerful magnet. Once you pull it out, you push these out with a screwdriver or something and put the armature, the part that spins in here. I went ahead and cleaned these area using uh, paper towel, clean it. It's good enough. It does not need to be perfect 100%, okay? It's, this is good enough. Uh, and the trick was again, I will show it to you in a video, is you push this out, you put this in without the housing. Let me go do the second video after I've done it. Okay, you see this is lined up. And now we got some rings, metal, metal, you know, black, black, silver. Okay, that's how it goes. And you're going to push them all the way down on top of each other. And I went ahead and put a Vaseline on right here, I did, uh, just to make sure. Um, I may use some caulking too. Alright, uh, let's see what happens. You see how this is lined up? Now that's going to make for these bolts to go through easier. I did it, went ahead and cocked it, used Vaseline around the uh, area that I needed to, especially the big black rubber seal, the round one that goes around this edge. And may, pay attention to that rubber seal, it has changed shape. So it will have a up and down position and put it back the way it was or look at the shape because it's been under stress and it has mold to the shape of the body of this uh, mm, trolling motor so so it will have a up and down it was uh, it looked like a dish it looked like a cup to me in a my very slight way because one side was higher than the other side after 10 years of being held captive inside of there. All right, good luck.